वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश ट्वेंटी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम वुड हैविंग एन एलोएबल शेयर स्ट्रेस इज फोर हंड्रेड पी एस आई डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ पी सेट डी इज इक्वल टू फोर इंच सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी दैट इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम हैविंग अ पॉइंट लोड पी एट टू इंच फ्राम ए एन एट टू टू फीट फ्राम बी दैट इज ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड टू पी The cross section of beam is rectangular and this width is two inch while this D is given as four inch. So you have to find the maximum value of this P. So let's start with the solution. So this D is equal to four inch, and what if we remove support at point A? So we'll be having a reaction force that is R A, and if you remove support from point B, so you will be having a reaction force that is. R B. So we'll find this R A and R B by using equilibrium condition. So first equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point B, first moment is R A into perpendicular distance is six feet, and this is producing clockwise moment, so it will be negative. So I will write minus six times R A. The second moment is due to this p load and this is perpendicular distance is 4 feet and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 4 times p the third moment is due to this 2p and perpendicular distance is 2 feet and this is producing clock counter clockwise moment so it will be also positive so i will write 2p into perpendicular distance is 2 is equal to 0 So minus six R A plus four P plus four P is equal to zero. So six R A will be equal to eight P, and R A will be equal to eight by six P, which is equal to one point three three P. So this is your R A reaction for set point A. Now you can find R B by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So we have four forces R A plus R B minus P minus two P is equal to zero. So R A is one point three three P minus P minus two P plus R B is equal to zero. So from here you will get R B is equal to one point Six seven times p. Now you have both R A and R B, and we know that uh, maximum sharing stress is equal to V into Q divided by I into T, and this V is maximum. So we do not know the maximum shear force for that. We will draw the shear force diagram. So if you have to draw the vertical line from end of the beam. And there is a horizontal line in order to show the length in feet. So x will be equal to in feet. So here we have shear force. Now, uh, let one division is equal to one. One, this is equal to two. Similarly, this is minus one and minus two. Okay. So at first point R A you have at point A you have R A which is equal to one point three three P. So first point is this one, and you can see that moving from R A till this point P where there is a force, there is no other force, so it will remain same. So this is one point three three P. Now at this point P you can see there is a P applied that is minus so one point three three P minus P will be bring it to point three three. So shear force will change to this point. This is zero point three three p. Now moving from this to two p, there is no other force, so this will remain same till this point. It will be remain same, and at this point you have two p. So zero point three three p minus two p will bring it to one point six seven p. So one point six seven is let this is minus one point six seven. P. So your shear force will change from zero point three three p to this p again. From moving from this till end, there is no other force, so it will remain horizontal. And at end, you can see R B, which is one 
plus 1 point will be will bring it to 0 so this is your shear force diagram so from shear force diagram we get maximum absolute value of shear force comes out to be 1.67 p now you have this v you have uh, you, um, you do not have other value so first we will calculate i so i you can see you have the cross section of the beam is given as this this is 2 inch and this is 4 inch and its neutral axis will be at half of 4 which is equal to 2 inch clear so we know that i is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube so 1 over 12 b is 2 and h is 4 so 4 q so when you solve this you will get i will be equal to 10.667 inch power 4 now what about q so we know that q is equal to y bar into a so if you take the upper half of this so this will be your a and this a is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 square inch clear and what will be the y y will be the distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section this is y bar and that is equal to uh, 1 inch because 2 divided by 1 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 inch so just put the value y is equal to 1 inch and area is 2 multiplied by 2 that will give you 4 inch cube cubic inch and what about t t is equal to 2 inch that is thickness now you have all the values you can just put it in the formula so maximum sharing stress is equal to maximum shear shear force into q divided by i into t so maximum shear stress is 1.67 times p into q is 4 inch divided by i is 10.667 multiplied by thickness is 2 inch clear and maximum sharing stress or allowable sharing stress is given as 400 psi so you have to write 400 over here so from here you will get 400 multiplied by 10.667 multiplied by 2 divided by 4 multiplied by 1.67 will be equal to p and when you calculate this you will get this p is 1280 pounds r in term of kips it is 1.280 kip so this is the maximum value of force that can be applied to this beam and this was all about problem 7-21 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.